Okay, morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing uh, on Friday the 10th. Uh, we've had this sort of low pressure system slowly come over us for the last 24 hours really. And uh, as you can see, it's not fast moving. There's no jet stream to drive it along. So we're just getting slow moving uh, fronts and trough lines that are, are coming round it. But we're in a westerly flow. So you've got to think positively on that one. Um, over the next 24 hours, you can see it, it doesn't move very far, but we start to get a little bit more into a northwesterly flow for tomorrow. So should be hopefully a little bit better tomorrow. Uh, today, isobars are, are well spaced apart in the middle of the country, slightly closer together in the channel. So it's a bit breezier down on the south coast. Uh, and what I think we're going to get is sort of just little lines of, of showers come through at varying times, but there should be some dry interludes in between it. And fingers crossed, today we might actually get out and do some flying. The TAFs, um, interestingly, if you, if you looked at Farnborough, just look at that TAF, you, TAF, you just probably go back to bed. Um, but the scattered two and a half, um, during the day, I think we'll eventually get here. West, southwesterly, 200 degrees, seven knots there, about 240, I think, at flying heights. Um, but this is the showers and rain, so between sort of seven and 12, broken at 1200 feet, and then we've got various uh, bands of rain, one here between six and nine, which is probably what we've got now. Rain and drizzle, broken at 1800 feet, and then another one a little bit later. But they're, they're few and far between, folks, because you can see there, they're either Tempo or Prob 30. So it's just occasional. Uh, upper winds. Down in the channel, they're, they're quite westerly. Over the centre of the country, 2.30. So I think we're probably 2.40. Um, 15 knots, I suspect. But flying heights. And the sap pick, this is where we start to see a little bit more promise. Things. This is the line of, of rain that's coming through us, and then there's definitely thinner cloud here. And I've looked at the, the airfield reports, the METARs, uh, from various places upwind, and you know, it's certainly looking a little bit better in Exeter and Yeovilton. So things are brightening up a little bit. And you can see the rainfall radar and that band that's just coming across us now. And a, a clear patch in here. Yes, we will have odd isolated showers and they'll come and go during the day. So, you know, if we do actually manage to get a cloud base high enough to go out and fly, we wouldn't be surprised to see the occasional shower. Uh, temperature wise, it's currently 15, 16 degrees out there. And I think it's not gonna go much above 20, 21, probably here. Uh, during the day, a bit warmer in the far east and southeast. Uh, and that with a, a dew point split, currently dew points are uh, you know, temperature 16, dew points are 16 all, all down into the southwest here. I think dew points might be sort of 15 temperatures, 21. Um, not a great split in, in the two 1500 to 2000 foot cloud base. And the predicted soundings would suggest the same. This is uh, one o'clock roughly Lasham or slightly south of Lasham and the lines come together at about 2,000 feet here. Um, so hopefully it'll improve to a 2,000 foot cloud base at some point during the early afternoon and then um, not really much better later on again two and a half in there. So it should fingers crossed get flyable and Top Meteo obviously use the same data so they're thinking along the same lines Low cloud to start off with. This is the sort of 500 to 1,000 foot cloud. This is the 10 o'clock prediction. Moving on a couple of hours, starting to improve. We're in this area here. We just um, got overcast. And it stays the same pretty much um, all day. Temperature goes up enough. Hopefully it'll lift the cloud base and we'll be able to go flying. Um, they show isolated. showers all day see them there just coming and going around here 
So I'm a little bit more optimistic than I was yesterday. You know, fingers crossed we, we might get out there and uh, get something done. And I think we do. We'll probably be um, on runway two, three. Airspace wise, um, surprisingly, there is something going on local to Lasham. This number 17 here is a fly past at 1845 of Odium. It was one a couple of days ago. Don't know what it is. There's also fly pasts up around Benson and Halton area here. So number five is just the Southampton hours of operation. Uh, changed slightly differently from uh, their notified ones. You've got high intensity radio transmissions at um, Boscombe Down and there's no danger area crossing service there. The one to really note is number 26, it's Abingdon Air Show. I'll scroll down to that one. It has restricted airspace. And it probably has restricted airspace because that's a, a known sort of choke point with GA flying going through there. It's the highest area of intense air prox activity in the UK. Uh, so they've stuck restricted airspace in there for the air show. Timings on it today, um, it says 1200 to 1400 UTC. So that's one o'clock to three o'clock. And tomorrow, it's pretty much from eight o'clock in the morning to six o'clock at night, so all day. And it's four nautical miles radius up to 6,000 feet. So it's up, up to pretty much the base of the airspace. They've got to... Uh, um, fast jet displays and all sorts of things going on there. So one to avoid tomorrow. Apart from that, the map looks reasonably clear. Certainly around, around our area here. Okay, so if we do go out and fly, it will be probably on runway two, three. Um, we'll just sit and wait and fingers crossed with the weather. Hopefully it'll improve and I will see you out there. If not, I'll see you at the briefing tomorrow.